Hey guys, it's me Ego here. Hi. Hello. Today, I'm gonna take some time and introduce some fragrance-free products. If you're curious about what fragrance-free products are currently out in the market, please stay tuned. First of all, fragrances used in cosmetics are synthetic fragrances. Artificial fragrances are normally used since natural fragrances tend to be weak in terms of strength and lastingness. While these synthetic fragrances can lift our mood because they smell good, products that contain synthetic fragrances can cause troubles or allergies as they don't suit the skin. In addition to products with synthetic fragrances, there are quite a few products with natural fragrances or are fragrance-free. So for today's video, I've brought products that are either natural fragrance or fragrance-free. The products I've brought with me today are the types of skincare products that many people often use. And all these products are artificial fragrance-free according to the theme of the video. The number of fragrance-free products out there is much more than you might think. I've chose products such as toners, mists, serums, essence, and creams that people can use without any hesitation. So first, I'll start with fragrance-free toners and mist products. I have with me two toners and mists. For toners, I've brought Nature Republic's Chamomile Calming Toner and Edison Jung PH 5.5 Relief Toner. And as for mists, I've brought Cosa Excess Balance Young Comfort Ceramide Cream Mist and the Harnai Sikai Cream Mist. Starting off with Nature Republic's Chamomile Calming Toner. This toner has completed sensitive skin primary stimulation test, skin primary stimulation test, and is fragrance and artificial pigment free. The product is said to contain plant-derived essential oils that are comfortable, mild, and non-irritating. The combination of chamomile and panthenol is said to calm the skin with their excellent soothing effects. With a transparent water formulation that is moist, it quickly absorbs into the skin that provides a moisturizing finish. I recommend this for those who have skin that normally needs moist and gentle soothing, and since it contains plant-derived oils and sweet-scented oils, it seems to have a subtle scent. Next is Ere Sunjang PH 5.5 Relief Toner. This toner is said to contain panthenol and madecasuside, which are effective for soothing the skin and for calming the skin irritated by external environment. With a mild pH of 5.5, it's said to make the skin balanced and comfortable. It has a completely water formulation free of 10 harmful additives and has completed various verification tests. Since it's extremely light, hypoallergenic toner, it's a good toner that can be used with your mind at ease. As it's a product that gently soothes the skin, it's recommended for skin that is stimulated by external stress, sensitive skin that needs soothing, and for sensitive and fragile skin. And this product is completely free of any fragrance at all. Next is Cosa Excess Balance and Comfort Ceramide Cream Mist. This is a moisturizing barrier cream mist that contains six types of ceramides and is a product that doubles moisture with cream and essence water to replenish moisture for when water alone is insufficient. It contains the rich moisturizing and soothing effects of ceramide cream to help maintain the skin's moisture barrier. It's a multi-use mist that provides soft moisturizing care anytime, anywhere, that can replenish moisture at any time without getting cakey or breaking down your makeup. When I first looked at this product, I could see that the contents of the mist is separated so you have to shake it before use. Since it sprays out very finely, it appears to spread out nicely and evenly all over the face. And since it's a soft cream water formulation, it seems to be a product with a lot of moisture and there was no scent at all. Next up is the Harnai Sikai Cream Mist. This is it to contain Centella Asiatica Extract, Marikatsuside, Ceramide, Tea Tree Extract, and Peptides that can be used even on sensitive skin as it works to moisturize, soothe, protect and firm up the skin as well as provide care for sebum secretion. It's also said to help improve the skin barrier and soothe and moisturize the skin caused by external stimuli. It's a mist that boosts a fine spraying power without the use of any gases. The contents are not separated so there is no need to shake before use. The Harnai Sikai Cream Mist is said to be a product that can be used for problematic skin as well as dry or sensitive skin, so it's a good product for everyone to use. The Cosrx product I introduced earlier needs to be shaken before use, but this product is said to be able to use without doing so. When I sprayed it, it seemed to have a really refreshing scent and felt cool, but upon checking the ingredient list, I found that it has lime spearmint oil and lavender oil. Next up, let's take a look at the serum. For fragrance-free serums, I brought Morbella's Daily Green Noni Serum. It's said to be a highly concentrated serum with 83% of noni extract instead of purified water, which protects damaged skin and has an even better soothing effect. In addition, it's said to contain a large amount of 10 kinds of natural plant extracts to help make the skin texture smooth and shiny. I thought it would feel heavy and stuffy since it's a highly concentrated serum, but when I tried it, it applied on very really lightly and refreshingly. The absorption was faster than expected as well, so the skin smoothed quickly and the scent was almost fragrance-free. Next is the essence. The first fragrance-free essence we'll take a look at is Abib's Yuja Essence. This is said to contain 80% of vitamin-rich citron extract, which not only brightens and lightens the skin, but also helps to improve blemishes. 
It's a product that has also completed the human skin primary stimulation test and human efficacy evaluation to help improve skin blemishes, blemishes, and brightness. It has a moist formulation with a refreshing citron scent and it's said to provide a refreshing moisture to make the skin transparent. When I applied it onto the back of my hand, it felt a bit viscous and upon applying it on my face, due to the 80% of citron extract, it seemed to have a strong citron scent, but the scent seemingly disappears after it was completely absorbed. Next is ingredient Tautania Cordata Extract. This product is said to be a concentrated boosting essence that helps to remove oil from the skin and takes care of the skin's oil and water balance. It said that it contains 97% of Tautania Cordata Extract, which is known for detoxification and waste removal. Actually, rather than an essence, it actually feels more like a toner due to its completely watery formulation. Not only is it said to handle the skin's oil-water balance, but it's also supposed to protect and soothe the skin. This product is recommended for those who are worried about oily skin, and it's a product that has even received a certificate of organic Hautania that has been grown without pesticides for 3 years. While using it, it had a very slight scent which I think is from Hautania. Next up is Mixun Soy Essence. It's said to contain fermented lactobacillus soybean extract, fermented pomegranate, fermented barley, and fermented pears to improve skin immunity, vitality care, keratin improvement, and provide antioxidant effects, making the skin texture smooth and lively. When applied on the back of my hand, I could see that it has a viscous formulation that stretches a lot, and even though it looks sticky, it felt much more refreshing and tackier than expected. I had the chance to try this product because Haley Sam recommended it to me. After applying this product, my skin felt very smooth, so I think it'd be good for people whose skin is a bit burdened with chemical peeling products, and since it contains fermented ingredients, it seemed to have a subtle scent. Next is the ampule. I brought the Lab by Blangdu's Oligohyaluronic Acid Boosting Ampule. It said that the 10,000 ppm high and low molecular weight hyaluronic acid provides immense moisture deep into the skin, and its moisture boosting complex helps to strengthen the skin's natural moisture. The effects of moisture boosting ampule are said to have been verified through human application testing. It has a more viscous formulation than I expected, and it seemed to be absorbed quickly, providing a non-sticky finish. This ampule is said to have a mild pH and does not contain artificial fragrances, aroma oil flavoring agents, or functional ingredients. Although it can be used by pregnant women or infants, it's recommended to consult a specialist and do a small patch test on the inside of the arm before use. The ampule seems to be non-fragrant since I couldn't smell any scent from it. And for the last product, creams. For creams, I brought Round Lab Soybean Nourishing Cream. This is a product I've introduced before when I did my Round Lab haul review in the past. This product is said to contain green soybean extract and ceramide ingredients to vitalize skin that has become dry due to the external environment and stress. It's a highly moisturizing cream but it has much lighter formula than I expected, smoothly nourishing the skin without stickiness. This cream is recommended for skin that is lacking in moisture and nutrients. The scent was stronger than I thought, but seeing that it doesn't contain any fragrance, I figured that the scent is most likely from the active ingredients themselves. The scent is a bit strong when applied, but after a while, it goes away. And as I said before, this product was reviewed through my haul review, so please refer to the link at the top right for more information. Like this, I've introduced a couple of fragrance-free skincare products, and now I'll show you the products by dividing them into fragrance-free and essential oils. First, the fragrance-free products are added, Cosrx, Morabella, Round Lab, and Lab by Blangdu. Among these products, since Round Lab has scent, I think it's a unique scent of the ingredients it contains. The products that contain essential oils are Abib, Nature Republic, and The Hard Eye. There are many types of essential oils, and among the many essential oils, lavender oil is an ingredient that pregnant women and infants should probably best avoid. It's also said that citrus oil can cause allergies, so if you have an abnormal reaction or have an allergy to these natural essential oils, be sure to check all the ingredients before using the product. The products that do not contain any fragrance or essential oil, but does carry a natural smell derived from the ingredients includes ingredients and mixun. Although these products are organic, it's not like all organic products are good, and in the case of a single ingredient product, it can be very effective but can also have the opposite effect, and in extreme cases, you might need to go to a dermatologist. So it's recommended that when you first use single ingredient products, you should first test them on the inside of your arm to see if they're right for you before using it. So like this, I've also talked about the scent of each product. The products I brought have various effects such as moisturizing, soothing, nutrition, elasticity, and whitening, so I think you can simply choose and use them according to your skin type. As for the parts where I mentioned whether or not I smelled anything, as it's just from my personal experience, I think it's best to take that as a reference. So my video is still here. Thank you for watching my video today. Don't forget to subscribe, press the like buttons, and please leave some comments for me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!